Good evening. <coughs> okay. Good evening, everyone. This is Trafalgar Valentine. How is it going today? AKA Valor, AKA Vehicle Designs. And I got a request to do like realistic colouring, which is something, um, I mean, a lot of my sketches and a lot of my duels and stuff like that, they're not really realistic, as you can see from my previous ones, like here, for example. So that. They're not very realistic at all, they're very abstract and stuff. So. Today I want to do something a bit more professional, a bit more clean and crisp, you know. And uh, so I'll show you how, what, uh, the process I go through to colour in something. There is going to be a lot of different materials here. You don't have to use all the materials I'm using. I will give some guidance to some alterations you can do. But this is just the way I do it. I mean, if you haven't got the materials needed, like I said, I'll make some suggestions. For some cheaper alternatives, because I know when starting out, you have the very basics and stuff like that. And... When you actually get more expensive materials and stuff like that, the more expensive materials really do offer a, a variety of more colours and stuff like that, where you can get more deeper and richer tones, and more realistic tones and stuff like that. Okay, so to start off with, I've just done a quick biro outline of this car here. This is a very boxy car. It's kind of like a racer. So you've got the front spoiler here, the back spoiler, and a long body there. I do apologise, my camera's shaking a bit. My setup's not the best. And you can see there, I've not done very much in this line here and this line coming from this side. Because this is where I want the light to come from, so this is going to be very lighter lines. So this is a very sharper image. So the light's going to come from this direction. And the shadows going to be from this direction. Okay, which is very important to emphasize that throughout the whole vehicle because you don't want to mix them up. You want to have a nice equal gradient on those sides. Right, to start off with, I want to use some markers just for the darker sides and to fill in some space. So let's make this a red car. So I've got my pro markers here, but you could um, easily use Crayola or something simple like that. I'm just going to fill this in. So I'm going to leave that edge at the top. I'm going to bring this up. Then there will be a little bit more red on here. I'm leaving these white gaps here because I want them to be a bit lighter. Again. Bit more darker red there. How much do a red edge going across here? And if you are in a sketchbook like myself and you are using alcohol markers, just remember to put a bit of paper behind your sketchbook so you don't bleed through. Some books don't bleed through, but this one does, so just be careful about that. Then a line under the windows I've got there because that bit will be darker. And as you can see, this is very quite a small drawing, so I'm, and these markers are quite thick, so you just gotta be careful when bleeding and stuff. Okay, then I'm just gonna do not too much on this bonnet here. I can see that little lip there, so I'll just smooth that out, like so. And likewise, what we'll do is the bonnet there, that curl going round. I'm just going to do the same for the front spoiler or the front splitter, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, my terminology is not the best. I'm from England. Deal with it. Okay, so I've got that red in there. Now, because this is going to reflect the ground a little bit, I'm using a slightly. Uh, this one is a terracotta color for pro markers. But you can use like a brown colour or something. This is just to give a bit of a tinge so it's reflecting from the ground. I can even just apply just some on the ground here. And you notice I've got this line coming down here for the wheels. So brown and red, nothing too fancy. Yep. And 
Yeah, I'm just doing it a little bit around the edge there. Okay. Just gotta keep make sure the car's in focus. Then for a bit more of the ground, use a bit of a green as well. Like I said, this is a olive green, so these pro markers really do provide lots of different colours. They've got 150 of these. So it was like 15 different shades of green. So you can get lots of good variety of different tones in the ground and stuff like that, especially with the grass and gravel and lots of other cool things. I mean, this is a car drawn, but yet you try and draw it realistic, so you won't give it terrain to live on. I'm not being too neat about this. Let's just give the emphasis of it. Like so. Um, just for the edges, another colour in there. Now, if you want to add some detail with that, I recommend one of these uh, cheap um, multicolour biros. These ones come really handy. This is only a couple of quid in my country, um, but they can give you. Lots of different colours and this is uh, kind of important when it comes to light tones as well and also just fine details so I'm just going to add some emphasis some stone shapes just by doing some little squiggles there as you can see I'm trying to keep the lighter portion going down and then you can just flick the biro some of these edges get a bit of a shadow So, and now I've got the black marker, uh, black fire, uh, biro on my hand. I might as well just do a little bit of a dark tone, just on this edge. Not too much. I'm just feathering the pen, holding it very, very lightly. So you can see these are the darkest areas where the light's going to hit the least, right in this groove here. This groove, you want to make sure that the shadow's really pulled into there to emphasise the. Uh, light and darks and I didn't go to art school and um, so I've just learned to do this by myself and just learn from practice and stuff and so you don't need professional education for this you can just practice 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 okay I might go back to that later I do bits here and bits there like just gradually building up different layers and tones and stuff like that Before I do the light areas, I just want to use, I've got a fine line red here. So now I've got markers, biro, um, and now fine liners. You can find these, these are not too expensive, these ones. And this is just good for some of those my, those uh, sharp details that the marker is not the best at picking up. Um, well, it's too thick for marker. You can see how thin these lines are. And this has got a cool little engine mount on here. So I'll emphasize some shadows in there and a bit of trim just going down this side and I might just do a little bit in the center of this wheel arch again this little groove there that's the inside the wheel I know I've spilled over on the wheels a bit with the red but I will uh, I'll fix that oh for the uh, support braces for the uh, spoiler this edge of the spoiler is going to be darker just because how that's curled how the light's coming down for that shape this nib's broken a bit so it's a bit frayed so I've just got to be careful see it's quite jagged okay um, now I'm going to go with some light tones for the red so again this biro comes in handy for the red tone here and if you just go very very light like so I mean you can just practice on the side very very light feather it and the trick is to just press down and flick away very very lightly and go backwards and forwards to repeat that and if you want to go a little bit dark at this edge 
Maybe just to put a little bit more focus there, and then a bit darker still. Even press down quite hard. As you can see, this doesn't get too dark, and what it doesn't get as bold as these other reds that I've got for the markers. Um, so bear that in mind. So I'm just going to do a fine line for this body here in red. A little bit across the spoiler, the edge there, and just a touch in the center of this line, and from this red blip in the middle here. I don't know what to call that. Okay, I can see that curl that's going across, so I'm just going to fold that on with a biro. I'm just pressing inside that mark area and just flicking up. So this is going to be the lightest area here, so there's not going to be very much colour here. There is a line for the bonnet, so I'm going to just emphasise that. So, let's just start here. The only problem I have with doing these YouTube videos is I can't turn the paper very well because of my limited space and I don't want to ruin it off camera. See it's quite dark there so let's just lighten it up a little bit very very softly. You see any white lines just in between just fill it in. edge here then because there's gonna be a shadow cast by this bit of the spoiler which will come right about there we're just coloring this in Then just down this edge. I want to just test out some of these colours first and not some of these techniques as well. Just get a bit of practice in. You can kind of learn as you actually are drawing your picture, but if you're doing something professional in a project and stuff, you don't want to be too rough with it and have too many different experimental ideas. I've had problems where I've struggled to find the right kind of blue and I tried this blue and I tried that blue and before I knew it the car had like 15 kind of shades of blue in it and it just looked like a mess. So I'm just building that tone up, get that nice there we are so you got the nice little uh, white that's what you, what you aim for there if it is just looking a little rougher on the edges, just smooth it out a little bit, like so. And just a little bit across there. So this will cast a shadow, so this won't be. This will be quite dark there. I might just start from that black line coming down. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back, see if you're doing any if you're doing enough. And then if you haven't done enough, maybe you can just add some of there. You just gotta take your time with it. Because you can once you put these pens on, you can't really erase it very well. So like this uh back spoiler, I'm gonna do the same for up here. 
box welder for the yeah for the front splitter is the same. If you're making YouTube videos, you'll understand the difficulty of trying to draw and talk at the same time. Concentrate on what you're drawing and try and concentrate on what you're saying, especially like me when it does make any notes. I'm just winging everything, which is I prefer to do it. It's a lot more healthier. too sure about this bit I'll just leave it for now I might go back some of these areas I'm not quite sure about I'll just leave it and I'll just try another pen in another area it might come back to us so I've got the light tones in there now these light tones are a bit rough so now I want to just smooth them out a little bit with the pink Again, I'm not going right to the edge of where I've flicked the biro to get a nice soft tone in the middle. Like so. And just fill in, smooth out some of these areas and fill this bit in. Well, as you can see, the paper there is starting to come apart. I don't know why, but I think it's the bio was scratching it. And just a bit of pink up here. So there, you can see how much darker this is, getting much lighter this is, and the nice contrast. It will become darker, we'll get up to that. So that's some nice red tones in there. Now, uh, for the window, there will be some sky reflections, so add a bit of blue tone. A touch there, touch there. Now this could be chrome on the top, so again, chrome reflects everything around it. A touch of blue. Here and there. I can even do a touch of blue on the bonnet and follow it along there. Maybe just a touch on these lights. And then, because this lower portion of the tire is going to be reflecting up from the sky, just do a little bit on the wheels. Now, for every color that I've got, I do have a secondary color which is a touch bit darker. Like I said, the benefit of having a vast variety of materials. You don't need expensive ones, it's just a good uh, variety helps a lot. Okay. There is still white areas that I don't want to be white, so let's get some greys in here. Now, greys can be a little bit tricky, so you might be worth just getting a small pack of like six greys or something um, and they do have these uh, touch new ones are quite cheap so I would recommend get these ones um, and they come in numbers which helps a lot so number two let's just start off with that I'm just gonna light, uh, darken up these white areas we'll make them a bit darker with blacks and stuff This be darker. Then this engine mount. And just touching the window just underneath. Okay, now um, I noticed the top bits uh, chrome, so I'm just going to add 
got blue sky colors and just a green some grass colors might just do a touch of brown for that let's just do a touch of brown there might actually do a touch of brown on these wheels at the top because it's that's reflecting down and just a little bit in the windows okay start making some of these areas darker to help pull out those lights um, no, I'm actually just do a bit more green. Just to really brighten up this area. So you can see it's starting slowly coming together. Now we just need to darken up some of these areas. So let's get another darker gray. This is a number five cool gray. This will be a nightmare to put all these pins away. As much as I'd love to just grab them and put them in the right places. I've got pens scattered all over the place because I've got different, uh, different pencil cases for different kinds and different shades and stuff. So I've just done a nice black edge there, uh, dark grey edge there, maybe a little bit here, That's a little portion of that wheel, and it's going to be darker underneath the edge of there, just do a bit there, this is going to be darker for that corner, and it will be darker here. It's going to be darker underneath this edge and lighter at the bottom. And just bring this up. I want the top of the wheels to be lighter. Don't forget about that second wheel there. Okay. Then. Can even get really dark with the black just at the very bottom. And it's going to be very dark just at the top of this wheel. Like so. And then. So, this is just the biro pen I'm using for this. There's a very large, large variety of different blacks you could use. There. And just a touch, just in there. Okay, just for that weird bonnet mount. It needs to be darker there, and then just underneath here. And darker just inside here. Just being very, very careful with the pen. Not to go too fast. Speed will pick up. My um, first realistic commission took me two weeks, which is kind of embarrassing, but then afterwards I can now do realistic commissions in the space of hours. So it's just practice does help. Then, a little bit on this window there. So you can definitely see now the uh, darkest areas. The problem is that this darker area here, it kind of stands out too much. 
because you can see the contrast between the dark and the brown there it's just been the same so now let's get some more grays in there to really help kind of have a more even transaction is that the correct terminology so i know i do i went uh did all this before but it doesn't matter i'll go over it again so i'm just creating a shadow just underneath because this is not black, it will not show up as much. So this will be the body coming down here. And then it curls down. This is quite a test where you have to try and draw a side view of your custom car. Um, so the back wheel which comes there. Spoiler, as you can see, it's flat, flat there, and the spoiler comes out a bit. So let's just shade this in. is running out quite rapidly so I'm just doing my best. I'm guessing it will probably seep. Start just destroying the paper soon. A little bit on the top there, that sort of reflect the point. So you see the shadows coming down there. Okay. Um what else can we do? Here. So I know I'm going over a lot of dark lines that I have beforehand. So just process of just building up layers. It really does come helpful when you've got some nice quality paper, so you can apply quite a lot of layers. And this shadow will come down here. Now I want to do some finer details. Um, I might go back to some other stuff, but hey, I'm just going the way I think. So I'm just going to do some lines to emphasize the rim there. Some nice thin lines, and this is just a uni ball pen. Nothing too fancy, just a couple of quid this one. Again, this is a wheel arch, so there's going to be quite a dark shadow coming from here. So I'll create a pocket of dark there, so I'll keep that area nice. And I'm just going to do a dark edge here. Touch there. Shadow on the struts. I'm just getting a little complicated up here, but probably building it up. Okay, and then do some light details. I'm just going to do some circle lines there. Then the grill. Then simple vertical lines. Just a simple boxy car. This. Nice boxy car. I don't prefer boxy. Well, I like boxy cars. They're not because not cause they're easy to draw, but you know, it's a kind of retro kind of feel. Especially, oh, nice curvature ones like in the 30s and stuff like that. So, a bit of an edge just on this windscreen. You can even do some of the details as well. So you've got the windscreen wiper there, and then you can start doing the door coming down. 
touch a shadow just on here. And the other one just down here. Okay. Lines for the bonnet and for the poly filter. Questions and vents there. What time are you on now? 30 minutes. It's, it's getting quite long, this, but hey, -o. okay. I'll try and finish this soon. I've done some black edges there, but I'm still not happy with the, the transition, so I might just do. Go back to black biro. Just lightly feather it across. Good. I'll just make it a little bit darker just between his wheels. With a nice dark brown. final bit which is my white gel pen these come in very very handy uh, hopefully this is the right one that works I've got a few that don't work and now I'm just going to emphasize some of these edges then just smoothing it all out so we're just a touch on the wheel Splitter. I can already see because I've put so much marker on this, it's not quite picking up so well. I might have to use my reinforcements. Uh, if I can find my reinforcements, where did I put it? I don't think I was going to need it. Mm. Aha! Reinforcements is the next white marker which is Posca marker so Posca marker these come really handy I can just try with the white gel pen Okay. So 
you can see now how much uh, difference I've got there with the white there and the black there. It's got a quite nice effect. This is just a basic method. Um, I'm not using any photo references from this, I'm just having some fun. Dots there. Not do too much of this, and you might have to go back into the color just to smooth out some of these plus masks because it's quite thick. I just want to make these lines a little bit thinner. I'll just do a touch on there, I think that will probably do it. that'll do it guys but that's just the, my basic method anyway if I haven't got any photo references I have some photo references will be a lot better maybe I'll do that next time and have a photograph and try to do a realistic interpretation of it but anyway that's my uh, custom doodle design for this hot rod kind of weird racer car like I said I can emphasize the shadow the blackness there the light uh, highlights the red the color the different tones of red the biros and stuff like that Use lots of different things here, but you will build up a collection and you can just like shade one marker. I might do that, like another lesson to that. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Now, see you later. Goodbye.